Hey, welcome to The Explainer. This is where we take on some pretty complex topics and, well, we explain them, make them clear and hopefully pretty engaging. So not too long ago, a really big name in venture capital, Andreessen Horowitz, you probably know them as A16Z, they kind of dropped a bombshell. They called one specific job the hottest job in tech. And, you know, when they say something like that, people definitely listen. It got a ton of people talking. So what in the world is a Ford deployed engineer, right? Let's get into it. We're going to figure out what these FDEs, that's what we'll call them, what they actually do and why they're suddenly the talk of the town. All right. So to really get what an FDE is all about, you have to first understand the problem. I mean, this role didn't just appear out of thin air. It was born out of a very real, very frustrating challenge. Okay, so picture this. It's a story you see all the time in tech. On one hand, you have a company that's built this incredible, powerful, game-changing platform. It's amazing. But on the other hand, their customers, especially the big ones, just can't get it to work in their own messy, real-world systems. It's that painful last-mile problem. The product is right there, but they can't quite get across the finish line without some serious help. And that gap, that is exactly where the forward deployed engineer comes in. Think of them as the bridge. They're this special hybrid role designed to connect the incredible potential of a product with its actual practical use out in the real world. So what makes up an FDE? Well, it's kind of like they're a mix of three different experts all rolled into one person. First, they're a top-notch software engineer. They can really code. Second, they've got the skills of a sales engineer, meaning they can talk to customers and understand their needs. And third, they think like a platform engineer, always looking for ways to feed what they learn back into the main product. It's a really powerful combination. And check this out. Palantir, the company that basically invented this whole thing, they describe the role in a pretty wild way. They say FDEs are like a startup CTO. I mean, think about that for a second. That tells you everything you need to know about the scope and the pressure. We're not talking about just closing tickets. We're talking about end-to-end -end ownership of massive, high-stakes projects. Okay, so speaking of Palantir, let's go back to the beginning. Let's dig into the origin story, because this role was forged in a very specific, very demanding environment. All right, so the story starts at Palantir, you know, the super secretive data company. Way back in the early 2010s, they had this problem. Their software was insanely powerful, but their customers, think huge government agencies, big banks, were just stuck. They couldn't get it working. So Palantir created a new kind of role to go in and fix it. And their internal name for these people, Deltas. And here's how Palantir thought about it, which is really the key to the whole thing. A typical software developer, they build one feature for thousands of customers. But a Delta or an FDE, they do the exact opposite. They take the entire suite of features and use them to solve every single problem for one customer. It completely flips the script. It's all about making one customer wildly successful. So a week in the life of an FDE is this crazy balancing act. Yeah, most of their time is spent on site, deep in the trenches with a customer, building things. But, and this is so important, they're also constantly taking what they learn, all those pain points and bugs, and bringing that knowledge back home to make the core product better for every single other customer down the line. And when I say in the field, I'm not kidding. This is not about sitting in a comfy Silicon Valley campus. We are talking about being on an actual Airbus final assembly line or even working inside a totally disconnected, air-gapped government building. You know, places with zero internet connection. Pretty intense stuff. Okay, so that's the origin story. Now let's jump forward to today. Because with the absolute explosion of AI, this idea of a forward deployed engineer, it's not just relevant, it's become absolutely critical. You can see this playing out at places like OpenAI. They draw a really sharp line in the sand between, say, a solutions architect and an FDE. An SA, they are more of an advisor. They'll build you a nice little proof of concept. But an FDE? They are hands-on keyboard, writing real, production-ready code inside the customer's own network. It's the difference between drawing a blueprint and actually building the house. And OpenAI's approach is super methodical, which I think is fascinating. It's a three-step dance. First, they go on site to scope the problem, basically figure out what's really worth solving. Step two is validation. They build tests to prove that, yes, this is technically possible and it's gonna deliver real value. And only after that do they go to step three, delivery, where they build the full-blown solution. It's a smart way to make sure they're always working on the right things. So 
Let's make this real. How does this actually look in practice? Well, there's this great example from a project with John Deere. Yep, the tractor company. Their challenge was a big one. How could they give super specific, personalized advice to thousands of individual farmers and do it at scale? And the solution? It wasn't dreamed up in some San Francisco office. No way. And OpenAI FDE literally went out to a cornfield in Iowa. They talked to farmers, stood in the dirt, and built an AI solution right there, racing against the clock to get it done before the next growing season started. You can't get more forward deployed than that. And you know what? It works. That kind of success is impossible to ignore. After seeing the kind of impact these projects have, OpenAI's FDE team has just blown up. In just the last year, they've grown to more than 10 people, with FTEs now in the US, Europe, and Asia. So let's bring it all home. What's the big takeaway here? It's that FDEs are so much more than just coders. They're what you might call value creation engines. They're the ones who finally crack that tough last mile problem. They create this amazing tight feedback loop between the customer and the product team. And at the end of the day, they're the ones who turn a cool, powerful piece of technology into something that actually makes a difference to a customer's bottom line. Which really just leaves us with one big question to think about, right? As tech, especially AI, gets more and more complicated, is this the future? Is every serious tech company going to need its own version of a startup CTO embedded with their most important customers? It's definitely something to watch.